Hi and welcome back to the PageRage video tutorial. Today we'll, we will be creating a custom layout for all you layout fans who prefer something more simple. In the past we have done how-to tutorial videos on um, putting images on your Facebook background layout using the PageRage Create Your Own feature, but today we'll just be focusing on putting color on your background layout. So let's get started. The first step in creating a layout is to make sure that you have PageRage installed on your computer. So how you go about doing that if you don't have it installed, just go to the main page on PageRage.com. You can click on this button here to install the plugin, or you can click on the tab right here. Um, so once you have that installed to your computer, then you will usually run a Google image search. Um, but in today's case, since we will just be focusing on color on our layout, we will not need to do an image search. So we will first need to go to PageRage.com and you will click on the Create Your Own Layout button. That button will take you to this page that you see here. And the first step is choosing a color for our background. You can choose one color for the entire layout. So have background selected. So you can see an entire color for the background layout. Or you can choose one color for the left curtain. So we could do red for the left curtain. And then we could do green for the right curtain, if you wish. So there are so many variations that you can do. Just play with it and see what suits you best. So I'm just going to go to my left curtain and choose a blue color. And I want that same blue color for my right curtain as well. So just reselect that color. And for my background, I want that same color as well. Now you can't see the background color that I just applied to my layout. If you want to see it right away, just go to the last step and you will click on the Profile Transparency tab and the color will come through. So we'll just keep it like that. So go back to the first step. And my final color that I want to select is for my title bar. And I'm just going to do... Let's do a brown color for my title bar. Okay, so once you have all your colors selected, just click on Next Step. And the second step is usually where you upload your pictures. So since we're not doing pictures today, click Next Step. And we will select a text color. So I want to do that same aqua blue that I selected in the first step. And once I have completed that, just click on Next Step. And once again, this bar, if you want it transparent or if you don't, drag it all the way to the right. If you want it all the way transparent, drag it as much as you can to the left. So let's not do transparent. We'll keep the background white. And of course, you will need to name your layout. So I will name this one blue and brown colored layout. Okay, and make sure that the box right here is checked so it goes directly onto your Facebook layout when you log in and you will click Save and Publish. And my new colored layout was success successfully uploaded to my Facebook profile. And one thing to remember, you can always start over if you don't like your final layout that previews right here at the end. Um, you can always go back and click on the home page of PageRage and it'll start the process all over again. So it's just kind of a trial and error process. So, and as you know, um, it gives you links right here if you want to share your newly created layout with your friends. And that about does it for today, so stay tuned for more how-to video tutorials on PageRage.